Dinosaurs, Ancient Fossils, New Discoveries presents the research of scientists working worldwide on the biology, behavior, and appearance of dinosaurs and other extinct creatures. At the American Museum of Natural History, the Division of Paleontology currently has over 30 staff members conducting research and field work. Dr. Jin Meng, one of our paleomammalogists, presents his new discovery, which is featured in this exhibit, and discusses his work on the evolution and distribution of mammals. When they studied this plan for this new show, it's basically focused on uh, dinosaur. However, during this uh, preparation of this new show, then we have this paper uh, published in Nature, which it, we describe a large uh, mammal called Repenomammals. Repenomammals means reptile-like mammals. And this is one of the skulls of the Repenomammals uh, robustus in my hand. And uh, it turned out to be these creatures are uh, carnivorous. They feed, um, they eat dinosaurs actually. In one of the discoveries that we, we made is a skeleton of the repentant mammals associated with uh, the stomach content. And the stomach content turned out to be a baby Cetaxorus dinosaur. So that gives us a very interesting and important information about the early uh, biology of, uh, of mammals as well as their interaction relationships with dinosaurs. Traditionally, we are looking at the uh, external morphology, like the teeth and the shape of the skulls. But if we want to look at the internal structures, like the inner ear, like the brain case, the only way in the early day that we do that is what we call the sectional technique. We actually cut the specimens. But for a Mesozoic mammal like this, this is a lifetime you can find one like this. So no one can think about, think about cutting these specimens. So you're a criminal if you do that. So now we have this uh, advanced technology called the CT scan. And it scans through these skulls without the damage of the specimens. Jin Meng's work is an example of what we do in paleontology. We go to various places in the world and search for fossils, but we try to answer questions, very much the same kinds of questions, no matter where we are. For example, we're very interested in the evolution of life on Earth and the evolution of major groups. We've been finding these beautiful mammal specimens, these skeletons, from 80 million year old rocks in the Gobi Desert of Mongolia. These mammals tell us a lot about the evolutionary history of mammals. This form is very opossum-like, and it actually tells us that marsupials, the group to which opossums belong, existed in Asia 80 million years ago. Current museum research, in addition to paleontology, is heavily field-oriented. We go all over the globe. We launch about 125 expeditions a year to all continents and all oceans. This really follows in the proud tradition of the museum's field expedition effort over the last 130 years.